Greetings! Welcome to the second part of the project O'Neill. In today's video, we will actually start with the printing itself. Now, uh, in this part, we will actually take a look only at those two uh, groups or subassemblies, which is uh, top part and the middle part. So we will, uh, or I will show you um, the individual pieces and then we will print them out, paint them, and assemble them together. So let's start with the middle part. And you know what, I will for now get rid of the top one. So the middle part is, uh, well, relatively straightforward. Uh, we have those basically pieces that are divided with those locks that, has, that have pins and holes for inserting pins because obviously I cannot print them with pins on both sides unless I would like to use um, supports which I don't want because I want this surface to be smooth as possible as smooth as possible so that is why those pins will be inserted there in those eight cases and then uh, on the back we will have basically this piece uh, and this basically is the main piece of the bag, uh, which has four uh, pins that are part of the model, as well as four holes for inserting pins. So those holes will be uh, sorry, those uh, yeah, those holes will be filled with those uh, inserts. And then we have this this piece that has those uh, those ribs. Now, a uh, little disclaimer, uh, in the future uh, I will certainly uh, avoid designing something like that. Not because of printing, not because of assembly, but because, because of that freaking painting. And painting this to uh, black uh, while everything else was white was real pain in the ass. I obviously already assembled that. Anyway. So that is the, the middle part and then the top part, which consists only of the back piece, middle piece and front piece with, of course, this piece that kind of serve uh, not only uh, design wise, but it also serve as a connection via those two pins and this lock. So it connects those two, those two pieces together, and it uh, holds everything quite nicely. Um, just a reminder that those uh, black or dark brown pieces are uh, separate models, uh, just because of the painting. I eventually decided that all those um, dark brown pieces I will remain, uh, I will leave black because I am printing it uh, from a black filament. So basically everything that you see here with the dark brown color uh, will be eventually black uh, in the paint itself. And also, as you can see here, uh, I have uh, silver or gray color in those uh, uh, little spaces. I actually on the printed model decided to leave it white because painting it would be real pain in the ass. And of course, here we have the uh, en main engine, uh, sublight engine. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, basically the model itself. The only thing that I will showcase are uh, on those two pieces, we have uh, these openings. Uh, they are there because of the uh, retractable uh, landing gear mechanism. Uh, and unfortunately, they couldn't be uh, placed on the basically starting surface. So I have to use uh, this little cavity here and here with those uh, holes for the pins uh, by which uh, the whole mechanical assembly will be attached. So those two pieces basically are needed to be printed with the support material. All the other pieces don't require it at all. Okay, so this is basically what we are uh, intending to print 
today. So I guess I uh, was boring you for quite some time, so let's go straight to the print. Okay, so here we have all the parts printed and painted. So now let's assemble them all together. So we will start with the uh, with the middle middle piece. I already inserted three fins. Now I will insert the last. It's actually easier to put it uh, from the upper side. Then uh, we have this piece and once again I inserted three fins. Now I will insert the fourth. Okay. So once again from the upper side. So here we have two blocks corresponding holes so it goes together like this. Now I will flip. Now we have this piece. As you can see I already inserted once again three pins. Last one is here. Okay, all four, and basically those two locks come here. So it is connected like this. Now we take this part, already painted, and those holes come here. And now we will start with the upper part. We take the back and as you can see here uh, we have to add all those details. So we start by one Two, three, and the last one, four. So the back is done, and we won't insert it yet, but first we will take the front and the second part and as you can see here we have a lock and here we have a corresponding hole so we will push the two together like this and now we have here eight holes and here we have eight pins so we basically have to connect connected though I see that here I kind of missed few spots with the paint, paint spray so I will have to fix it later but anyway now we will return this piece and we will insert the top Now we will take this part and insert it here. Which now holds everything together. Now we have this and this small cover that, go, that goes here. The only uh, reason behind those is to cover the 
joint okay now i will turn it upside down and simply add this as you can see four holes four pins Okay, and it's connected. Yeah, I see that here it's also the paint is kind of missing. Yeah, I will have to uh, fix the paint later. And one thing I forgot is the front cannon that comes here. So okay, so like this okay and that's it so this is the first part middle and the bottom part uh, sorry middle and top part together yeah looks kind of nice though i really intend to uh, purchase some kind of spray that would actually give it this shiny uh, finish because the uh, model in the show actually was kind of glossy and reflective so i would like to uh, do this as well but uh, at least as a vip yeah sure looks not that bad and fits together really really nicely okay so yeah that's it so uh, I guess we'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.